Back in book one of Sailing Adrift, we completely refit our 1972 vintage sailboat in our driveway. And then we splashed it into the Columbia River. And guess what? It floats. So now we're gonna move aboard and live our lives on the water. Last week we took Drifter out for a little spin. Today's the day. Yep, we're going out to calibrate the autopilot. The calibration was successful and we got to play around a bit and get familiar with our handling at our own pace with excellent conditions. Do you feel comfortable, more comfortable driving the boat now, Kelly? I do. Good. It's pretty great being able to just take your house out for a cruise whenever you feel like it. This week we're taking Drifter out to Puffin Cafe for a quick bite and a shakedown. Puffin Cafe is located in Washougal, Washington, about two hours away from where we are on Hayden Island. The plan is to motor over, hang out, and eat, and then make it back to our slip same day. Looking forward to some delicious foods and maybe a fun cocktail. But more than likely, this kind of cocktail. But first, coffee. Good coffee takes patience. So does mediocre coffee on a boat. Now that we've fueled ourselves, it's Drifter's turn. Fifteen. Fifteen point zero six. All right. This gives us at least 10 gallons and burning a gallon an hour, we should make our six hour voyage quite easily. Yeah. Smells like freedom in America. Just getting everything prepped for takeoff. All right, now what? Henry's got the front on tight already. It's a beautiful day out. Definitely no traffic to deal with today. Hmm, wonder why. The current was quite a bit stronger today, but we pulled out into the channel, no problem. 
Pulling up the fenders now? You never know, this could be a wild ride. It is cold out today. Right now, we're rocking 43 degrees Fahrenheit. How's it going up here? Cold. I turned into a tomato. Should go put some layers on. Doing something right now. My butt cheeks are shivering, Kelly. I know, I've never seen you so cold. You want me to take over? You're like literally shaking. I'm good right now. My body's catching up. Act like you're happy. By now you're probably thinking, hey you idiots, why aren't you manning this ship from your cozy little pilot house? Isn't that the beauty of having a pilot house? Well, this is why. Between the fog and the condensation, our visibility from the inside was complete sh**. Despite our best efforts, operating from inside was not in the cards today. If you have any helpful tips or know of any devices to mitigate this problem, please hit us up in the comments below. On this nice, pretty motor sailor day. Can't see anything from inside. If you weren't sick, you will be now. It's only like two more hours of this. Yeah, yeah we're just getting started. Yeah. Yeah, we left it right there. Right over there. We were definitely not prepared for this little excursion. We went through lots of layers, hats, and gloves. I can see your more. Yep. Wardrobe change. Searching gloves. I'm on my second pair. Yeah. Chris really had the lion's share of the work, but we all took turns at the helm that day. It was pretty brutal. Did okay? Fine okay. <laughs> Alive? Yeah. With morale being at an all-time low, it was time to bring out the big guns. Yes, more coffee. Once the boys were served, conditions became somewhat more tolerable. Coffee? Thanks. That's pretty cool. What is cool, Kelly? The bridge. This is the Glen L. Jackson Memorial Bridge, but everyone I know just calls it the I-205 Bridge. Our first bridge! Not ours. Henry and I went under in his boat. Oh. First bridge on this boat. My first bridge. <laughs> Gliding under this bridge means we're about halfway there and we have plenty of clearance. It's about 44 meters up in the air. Hi, tomato. Hi, full tomato. Frozen? You just have the slacks on. I have the thermal bit layer beneath it, so it's literally just your pants. You don't want pants. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Adventure time. Finally, after two hours of motoring, we've reached our destination, the Puffin Cafe. Now time to dock and grab that delicious grub we've been craving. After all, we've earned it, right? Nothing. <laughs> This place doesn't look very open. They're liars. Yeah. 
Very much so. Despite their advertised hours, in hindsight, it would have made sense to call ahead. And then, Captain Chris went into Chef Chris mode. How's everybody's puffin food? <laughs> Did you get just what you ordered? How do you like this soup? Hangover Henry approves. <laughs> Last night's leftovers, that's what we ended up with. Well, as far as culinary adventures go, this was kind of a bust. But still another experience to add to our resume. And now we know what it's like to motor around in a typical Northwest winter day of rain, wind, and fog. Time to flip this bad boy around and head back. The current was super strong and kept pushing us towards the dock. So Henry made an executive decision and... Dude, what are we doing? The ride home was much more enjoyable. The rain had ceased and the wind was no longer punching us in the face. It was starting to get dark pretty quickly though, and that was definitely making me a little nervous. Oh, it's so much more pleasant this way, Kelly. Yes, it is. And faster. Uh -huh. We should only go down rivers. <laughs> Pretty soon, the sun totally sunk, and we were gifted with all the Christmas lights in the marina. This will be our first time docking at night. And just like that, we made it home. Way to go team. That was our best one yet, Kel. It was, totally. <laughs> yeah, that went really smoothly. Yeah, last time was a little hairy. Oh, I think we made it just in the nick of time because it was getting pretty darn cold there at the it was, end. It was starting to get oh. as bad as it was going out. Yeah, I'm no kidding. It's 12 Celsius in here. You know, get some grub from an actual restaurant because we saved a credit from earlier when Puffin was closed. So we rang ourselves out and tried to dry off as best we could. The night was not over yet. We felt like celebrating with some friends. This thing's awesome. It turns on with a sensor. So the, the coat just keeps it going. My coat's gonna be driving no time. Cheers to another adventure and more to come. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you wanna keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. Bridge, bridge. Into the creek wide open. There's a cheese. Hey. So the engine seems to have. Go ahead. It's me and Henry. We look rough, dude.